All right, boys and girls, you know what I'm saying? We're back at it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is up, everybody? What's up? Hit that like button and subscribe to your boy uh, before this video starts. You already know how we're doing, dude. Join the crew. And, uh, yeah, let's on the road to 2K subscribers, so let's get to it. But, <laughs> guys, 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 guys. We are here. The Ash Banner is back, and it's, uh, I'm feeling kind of feel juicy, you know what I mean? I got my fan on in the background. Uh, so don't worry about that if uh, if you hear any uh, background noise from the fan or from the train that's going fast right now. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go to some right here and Hero Fest Infinity has a step up banner right here, which is which is insane to me. They didn't have a step up banner for Ash when he came out. So we're gonna be going over this banner. We got Rex. Everybody knows about Rex. If you're a new player. Um, Rex is the homie. People be dissing my guy, but he has a uh, 2.2k dark damage, physical life still by 5% damage. Uh, arts 10, uh, 8, 10.8, 10.85k dark damage. Golly, I couldn't get that out of my mouth. Increases all allies' CRA rate by 50% for 5 seconds with a 25.55k dark damage. Physical increases all enemies. Ally CRA rate by 100% for 8 seconds with the enemy's light damage. With the 5 star physical uh, attack with slide and a 5 star uh, magic and a 4 star. Alright, now we're going on to Fina right here. Fina is the OG. She came out uh, when the game dropped, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she was one of the main units that was here in No Mean of Fear, if I'm not mistaken. So Fina been here for a while. She is a support uh, character. And uh, yeah, uh, everybody knows about Fina. She has a 22.5k light damage on true arts, heals, and evades all allied status and alignments. Uh, self faints and HP auto recovery by 340 seconds with her uh, true weapon. Does it, yeah, she has a true weapon. Uh, she has a five star physical, oh, and a four star support. I forgot all about that. Now, going on to the homie Ash. Now, Ash right here. This is the homie, this is the guy, this is, uh, I, I wanted this man, and I got him on my main account, I actually got two of him, if you want to see that video, just go, uh, I got Ash, type in Grand Summoners, I got Ash, the beast snake, it should pop up, or just scroll down my videos, uh, to about, like, um, m maybe March, April, but anyway, so, Arch is, uh, the top tier, uh, sub attacker, he's a top tier sub attacker, top tier attacker, uh, he has 30k dark damage physical. It reduces the enemy's arts gauge by 40%. By 40, excuse me, increases damage to the enemies by 50% and reduces the enemy's action speed by 30% for 15 seconds. He does have a true weapon. The true weapon is amazing. He has a five star physical and a five star first star magic. Okay. Now I do want to say, people think he's like a tier. Without his true weapon, then once you put the true weapon on him, he is S tier. You do get a 50% more of arc gauge on when you have his true weapon. Uh, so you get better arc gauge when that happens. Plus, uh, the physical uh, attack, a uh, physical equip slot that I run is a arc gauging one. So I get arc gauge from that and you get arc gauge from the true. Now, I, I will recommend if you do pull on this banner, I do recommend going for Ash. Now we got a Woken Finn. Now, if you don't know who Finn is, Finn is the homie. Finn is here. Finn is OG. 21.5k Earth damage because all allies are against 5 3 with equivalent slide damage for 50% for 20 seconds with a 5 star physical, with a 5 star, and a 4 star support equipped slot. Now, this is what I, I, I love Finn. Finn is definitely, when you, guys, if you're a new player from the free hero ticket, the 5 star free hero ticket. Get Finn, love it, man. He, he, Finn, Finn is great, and he's great for when uh, for the burns. Uh, if you get the crest, you can get the burn crest on him, and um, running on giant bosses, which will help. No, it helps with plant boss and everything like that. So yeah, now we're going on to a Woken Realm. Woken Realm, everybody knows about Woken Realm. She has a five star uh, magic, a five star support, and a four star shield with a 25k dark damage on her true arts. If the enemy is light, increases his own true arts damage by 100%. Rim is OG, I, and uh, I love her. She's the homie. Front on Anna, you, we, we, we know about her. She has a 20k uh, accelerated brave, a 20k on her uh, true, true arts, fire damage, high chance of burning the enemy. Just enemy are gauged by 30. Now going on to Ninja Jack. All right, Jack is OG. He was here at the beginning of the game too. Um, 
So, yeah, he is a yo unit. No, more, not, I don't think a lot of people know about him. Um, so, yeah, I don't have him. So, I wasn't playing, man. But, uh, yeah. So, overall, so if you always need a support, I know uh, there's been a lot of people that don't have support characters. Uh, they've just been rocking maybe like tanks, um, getting heals off of the equips and everything like that. You can go for Fina if you want to, you get that going. Uh, I would recommend going for Fina, Ash, Finn, definitely. Uh, those are the top three units that I would go for. Pretty much the main units I would go for, especially Ash. He's still an S tier uh, unit. He's still great to use. I still use him, and um, I love him. I messed that whole thing up, so I'm just gonna restart. Uh, I'll, I do recommend Ash, guys. Uh, he's great without his true weapon, and I highly recommend uh, that you use him. Uh, even if you don't have his true weapon, if you do, it's still he's gonna be so much. He's gonna be powerful. He's gonna be great. Our game is gonna have so much damage. Uh, that 50 percent damage is gonna be a lot. He's gonna. That's a lot. If you already have 30k dark damage regular, then not having any true is already good. So yeah, overall, I would mainly go for Ash. Ash is the main unit I would go for then. If you don't have Finn, you would probably want to go for Finn too, because Finn is a great unit. And if you have a Norn Earth Mirror, you should probably get that holy, holy Trinity going, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I do recommend you summoning on this banner. If you're an OG player, you probably have Rex, Fina, and Finn, maybe and Rim, to be honest. Uh, y'all probably have Anna and Jack. So if you don't have Ash, you know you can try to go for him. Uh, new players, this is probably one a good, another good banner to summon on. Uh, so, and the uh, limited crossover, crossover kill the kill, this is a good banner to summon on too. I said that last video. So yeah, other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe. And I am out this baby. Have an amazing day. And stay beautiful. Stay positive. I'm out. Peace. Wow. I got a text message right there. <laughs>